family and friends. The hair and makeup lady didn't show up today, so I'm not going to show myself a lot. But anyway, I got the tomato plants I'm going to try to plant. And we've had such really weird weather, really cold at night, even down in the 30s here in Wisconsin. And uh, I started these from seed. So we'll see how they grow in the garden. I got the weed control down and my daughter is here with her grandson and he's only one and he's starting to walk he's so cute but he's going to attempt to come over and help grandma plant a garden so I'm not a big gardener but maybe just a few cherry tomatoes and um, zucchini watermelon squash stuff like that so Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching. On. can't believe it now I might go hunt down a hose and give it some water even though we had a lot of rain it kept pretty dry underneath the weed tarp Hi, so. youtubers family and friends I found a nice little quiet place out in the backyard to sit and read a book and have some homemade soup um, but I wanted to show you this book I found at Savers yesterday it's a herb book and it's so interesting. I've learned a lot just on a couple pages. Um, for instance, dill is medicinal. You can use in a salt-free diet as it is rich in mineral salts. Make dill water for indigestion, flat, flatulence, which means, you know, passing gas, hiccups, stomach cramps, insomnia, etc. Um, culinary, you can eat it, of course. But uh, one other thing I thought was really interesting is you can um, smash them up, put them in a bath, and it will strengthen your fingernails. Oh, LOL, that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I got it for only $3. It's just what I've been looking for. On the book it says it was $30. So, so I'm going to relax out here on the beautiful day. I got the garden all planted. It's a smaller garden, but that's okay. And our daughter was over burning some things from her camper over there that she's cleaning out and they're redoing. So anyway, hope you're having a good day and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.